everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making bow ties for the dogs. These are super easy, beginner sewing friendly. They just slip right over the collar, easy to take off and easy to put on. My daughter-in-law asked me to make some bow ties, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of fabric that is cut to nine inches by five inches. You can alter that if you want a bigger or smaller bow. Another piece of fabric cut to two and a half by inch and a half. Again, if you want it wider or thinner, that's up to you. That's what I'm going to use. I kind of just cut this strip and then I just cut another piece off of it and use whatever I happen to cut. But about an inch and a half wide is a general uh, good rule of thumb. Then you're going to need whatever you want to use to fasten it. Now I have tried a couple different methods here. Here's one using a ponytail. Here's one using just some leftover elastic from my mask making days. You can do that method. I also have um, this sort of a ponytail. I think I'll try that one in today's video. Any of these would work. I also have some small rubber bands. You can find these at the Dollar Tree or you know in any hair department. Generally these are for smaller children. And then I have some cut up rectangles of felt. There's nothing spectacular about the, or magical about the size of these. You do want it to be thin enough to um, not show out the back. So mine are approximately uh, one inch by a half inch. But again, I just kind of eyeballed it. There's nothing super magical about that. Then you're going to want to use either fabric tack or hot glue. I made all of these using fabric tack. Today I'm going to try the hot glue method. You're going to want an iron and then I like to use this best press on my fabric. You just spray it. It's just a spray starch and then press it with your iron and that's just going to give your fabric a nice stiffness. It's going to make a nice bow tie that's going to stand up on its own a little bit better. So once you've got your fabric starched and ready to go, and again, you don't have to do that. You could also put a interfacing on the back of this if you wanted. I'm not going to do that. You're going to take your long piece and you're going to fold it right sides together. You're going to take your short piece and fold it wrong sides together. All right, take it over to your sewing machine and sew both of the long edges closed with a quarter inch seam allowance or less. Um, I just get as close to the edge as I can. But sew right along this open edge, securing both of those. Again, this one is right sides together. This one's wrong sides together. Once you've done that, they're going to look something like this. This one, you're going to reach inside and turn right side out. If you have a tube turner, if you prefer to do it that way, you can do that. I just stick my finger in and then flip it wrong side out. Not too difficult. Just like so. You're going to set it so the seam is face up. And give it a press. You're going to take this one and you're just going to roll it in your fingers so that that seam is also face up. This isn't going to show, so there's no reason to try to turn this tube. So I just put it so the seam's face up and give it a press. So there you have it. The seam is face up. I just folded it over. Now you're going to take this one, turn it over so the seam is on the bottom. You're going to fold it in half and we're going to stitch right along this edge securing those two raw edges. So about a quarter of an inch or whatever seam allowance you're comfortable with. I'm going to use about a quarter of an inch. Just stitch that closed. All right, you want to cut off any loose threads. So now you have a loop that looks like this. You've got your seam right there. All you're going to do is turn it right side out and put that seam in the front center. Just eyeball it. So it looks like that. So the seam is on the inside. Here it is. I'm looking at it. 
So now you're going to take it and you're going to fold away from you. This is the seam. You're going to fold away from you like this. So fold away and then back. So you're kind of accordion folding that. So again, fold it away and then fold the sides back up and pinch. And there's the beginnings of your bow tie. You're going to take one of your mini rubber bands. You could also just do this with a piece of thread and just wrap that around. And that's just going to hold it in place. Get it situated the way you want it. Super cute. All right, so now you're going to take this piece and this is the front of the bow. The seam is now on the bottom. So we're just going to center that on the front. I'll flip it over. I'm going to use my hot glue. Put a little dab there. Put that side down. Hold it for a moment. And then we're going to put some more glue. That's going to melt your rubber band, but that's okay. Still got our shape. And I found the fabric tack does the same thing. It eats that glue for whatever reason. So it just holds it while you're maneuvering everything else. And we're going to put on more glue. Close it. If you need to trim off some of that extra, you can. And make sure everything looks the way you want while it's still warm. So it should look like that. And I think, what did I just do with my scissors? Here we go. I am going to just trim that down just a hair. All right, so now you're going to take whatever method you want to use. I'm going to use a ponytail. You're going to place that right there in this direction. Now, if you're using the elastic, what I did was take about a one and a half inch piece of elastic. And then I just laid it over the side and stitched, moved over, put the other side on the edge and stitched, and I made my backing like that. If you're going to use that method, all you have to do is once I did that, I just turn it wrong side out, and then you just hot glue your piece down just like that, and you've got your elastic that's going to fit over the collar. If you're going to use a ponytail or something like that, what I would do is, again, just put your hot glue, place your ponytail, and then use a piece of your felt, hot glue, and we're just going to cover that up. Just like so. And you've now got your ponytail. And all I do is slip it. I'll go on this end. You just slip the collar, the ponytail over the collar. And there's your bow. Super cute, so easy to make. So you can see I've made several here. I can't begin to tell you how long it took me to get just this little piece of footage with Wrigley wearing the bow tie. He doesn't mind it at all. He just doesn't mind as in sit and let me take a picture. But anyway, really cute, easy to make, doesn't take a lot of product. And my son and daughter-in-law love to put bow ties and bandanas on their two dogs. So that's what I made them for. I think they're going to be really cute for stocking stuffers and gift ideas and just to make the dogs some matching uh, bandanas and bow ties for the different holidays. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. As always, never stop making. See you guys. Bye-bye.